So I don't know why I'm a glutton for punishment. I haven't cut my own hay in a long time. But I decided to start cutting it. Now I'm fixing some of my old equipment. This is an old rake that I used to use years ago. We used to use two of them. One of them was a John Deere rake and then this New Holland rake. This old New Holland's been around for a while. I think it's like a 253. Oh, well, there it is right there. It's a two, I think it's a 253. It's a roller bar rake. I've had this thing for so long, I don't even know how long I've had it. Uh, it's got some small issues, but, but for the most part, it still works and it works good, actually. Uh, these old rakes are, are really good rakes. Now here's the problem right there. You see that tire? That is a good tire, but it's flat. Now there's a story behind this tire because it's flat. Flat because there was a fire. Some of the grass around it caught on fire. Now I'm not going to say out loud who caught the grass on fire. First thing I got to do is get this thing jacked up. Where's he? Part of the drive line that goes across the back, so I gotta miss it. And it's gonna want to move on me too when I do this. So I need to get a block under it. Why is it when you need something you can't find it? But when you don't need it, it's in the way. I don't understand. All right, she's blocked up and safe enough. Oh, I hate this stuff. <clears throat> Don't throw it on the ground, it'll find a way to grow. The tire is actually no good. The tire caught on fire. And as you can see, the tire is no good. So I gotta take the tire down and have it replaced with a new tire. I hope I can find one, but I also have found another issue. The bearings in this thing look like they're no good as well. We'll have to pull that apart and take a look at that too. This is not one thing, it's something else. So that's double nutted on there to keep it from coming off. So this uh, side is where the drive line is. And this drive line goes up to here, which turns the rake. It is tire driven. Let's get this off of here, see how bad this is. I finally got this thing loose. So we're gonna take this tire off of here. Now you have these dogs in here and that's actually kind of loose. We need to fix that. And it looks like it's, I'm not sure what's going on here, but it's pretty nasty. I'm gonna have to see what it takes in here. It does have bearings in it. Actually, if it doesn't, it has sleeve bearings. 
but it uses dogs to roll it so it can roll backwards. But let me bust this loose and we'll clean this up. And, and then all we have to do is take the tire down and have a another tire put on it. All we have to do. Hopefully we can find a tire. All right. Let's do that. So we're going to go ahead and bust these loose. Wrong direction. So I got everything finally off. I'm going to sit down in a chair and do this because my back is not near what it used to be. And uh, we're going to get this cleaned up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically just clean up my mess here. I've been letting this soak. This is just diesel fuel. And uh, trying to get some of this goop off of here. And if I can get all that goop off of there, I'll put it back together. And that uh, this part of this job would be over with. But there's a lot of just goop on here. Nothing major. And I don't think it's bad bearing. It was just loose on here. So there's some washers that need to go in behind it. There's a spacer right there. But there's washers that need to go on on this side. It actually looks really good. It's clean. There's no real wear. There's no real wear marks on it. Or nothing. <laughs> I expected to see the, the old teeth in here wore out. A little bit but they're not they're in good shape that's pretty good glad to see that there we go that looks pretty good so i'm extremely old school okay this is the way i have done um cleaning parts and ever since i was young when we were we rebuilding the engine we would use diesel fuel to clean it with Everything I ever did was with diesel fuel. Why did I? Use, why did we use diesel fuel? Because it was cheap. And it was old. That's the old school way of, of doing things. And that's how I learned. I didn't learn from. I didn't go to school to become a mechanic. I had to learn everything, the OJT way or, the hard way. You know, school of knocks, and that's, that's the way it is. You know, you've got to, in order to learn some of this stuff. Sometimes you're just gonna have to jump out there and get it done. There's a inside of here. What I'm doing here. Is there's a see that that's a there's a little journal basically in there yes I'm grabbing there's a rag under there and I'm picking it catching it uh, and I'm cleaning that journal out so that I can uh, get the dirt out of it that's where that's where the grease port's at so I'm just getting in there and getting that cleaned out that's got it pretty good that all looks good all right so this piece right here runs on these. So when I set this back on here, push that in there and you can see it won't go one way, but it will click the other way with that. This goes on here like this. We'll put some grease in it. It's not too bad, fairly tight. We'll put washers in behind over here. And what that will do is tighten this up. And then the, the yoke, this yoke here goes on here. This only had this washer on here that's not that's not what it needs it needs a couple of spacers in here and so we'll get that in there it's not going to be perfect but it definitely will work and so and then we got to get a new tire for it once i've done all of that i think we'll be fine uh we'll throw some grease on it and run it i don't have that much hay to cut anyways we'll wait till tomorrow i gotta get the tire put on that on that uh wheel for this thing and get that back up and going that's next okay so that's all i can do today until we get a tire for this thing we're going to stop right there but we'll be back tomorrow to finish it up i hope i gotta go look for a tire real quick and see if i can find one it's after five o'clock so i'm pretty sure i'll have to wait till tomorrow to get a tire so we were able to get a tire for this thing i'm gonna go ahead and put this on there to use what they call a traction tire and it's a it's a small tire it looks like this this is a 500 uh, or 5.0015 15 and they use these lugs here to pull the rake uh, in order to drive it 
you'll see a drive line that runs right across here to the other side and then this all hooks together and then there's a drive line that will go from here down to here and that will drive this rake there's a gearbox right here and we'll get all this hooked up here in just a moment but i couldn't get the same identical tire uh, at, at this time but this little these little tractor tire like this same identical size tire and it's considered a track uh, it's considered a traction tire uh you know fairly reasonably priced so let's get that on there we ate too much spacer in there the first time so we're gonna start over that's probably a whole lot better right there we're almost there So this is a grade five bolt, it's just a softer bolt. They break easier than maybe like a grade eight or, or higher. You want something soft on these so that if you hit something with the rake, it will break the bolt and not your equipment. And so it's a shear pin, that's all it is. And so we're gonna tighten this up and then we're gonna double nut it to keep it from coming off is what we're gonna do. So put the second nut on there and tighten that up. That should secure it so it doesn't come loose. All right, so I gotta make sure this is all I'm going to make it, it's still got to go around a little bit more. Right there is where it goes. And that goes in there. And you can see this is a drive line now for this bit, for this cutter, or this uh, rake. I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about today, but it's a rake. All right. Oh, hay rake hooked to the LS right now. And we're going to go out and see if we can rake some of this hay together. It's not a lot out there to rake, but we're going to rake it together with this. So hey, we got the rake together. We're out here raking with it. it. It's a good rake. It's doing its job. Look, we appreciate everybody that come along with us as we go on this ride. But until next time, thanks.